Hello my Zero viewers, I am back and today I am reviewing the wireless USB Sega Genesis controller from Retrobit. I am actually really excited to review this. I have had a I've had a pretty good experience with it so far. I've had I've watched a ton of reviews. It's a it's it feels pretty close apparently to the actual Sega Genesis controller. And today I'm going to be reviewing it starting with the box. I actually got this as a Christmas present. Man, good times had so far. So, I really like the box so far. It, I mean, I really like the box. It seems to be in the style of of just the the Sega Genesis box. And, yes, it's 8-bit, it's wireless, it's a USB. My main, before I get into my main praises, I have to do my main complaints. My main complaint is a lot of, it doesn't work that well with computers, especially Steam. The thing is, a lot of games on Steam say full controller support, but that's not exactly true. When they mean full com full controller support, they actually mean modern controllers. Well, more modern controllers like Xbox, PlayStation, that kind of stuff. Uh, my main praise. Okay, here's the thing. So far, well, everything that this is compatible with is the it. The, one of the coolest things about this. This isn't that practical nowadays, but I just think it's really cool. It actually works with a real Sega Genesis. I'll show you in a bit. Well, I don't have a Sega Genesis, but I'll just kind of explain it. Okay, so it works with a PS3, which is kind of weird, and a, a Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo Switch is my biggest praise about this, because a lot of so many things are being ported, ported to the Switch. This, I'm just going to come out and say it, it works the best with... It works the best with definitely 2D games. Um, I've played it, so far I've used this controller on Sonic Forces, Sonic 1, this is all on the Switch, by the way, Mega Man X Legacy Collection, uh, and it actually works on Smash Bros. See, if, if you use it on the Switch, it works with everything. It may not have the best button combinations, like, button mapping, um, that's another thing, one of my main, the worst parts about this controller, and it's not even the controller's fault. It's the computer's fault, because the few games on Steam and on the computer that can use this controller, the button mapping is so weird, and the only way it's really good is if you, if you can change the button mapping, if they have a setting for that. So yeah, uh, I've watched a lot of reviews on this thing, and it, apparently the original Sega Genesis controller feels pretty close to this, it has that same clickiness apparently, and another good thing about this with on Switch, the home button is actually the home button. <laughs> I know that's kind of weird, but I've tried some other controllers and they're they're pretty weird. The home button's the home button on the Switch. The start is usually pause, and the select on the Switch isn't the the snapshot. Sometimes that's pause too. Uh, let me think. What else? So yeah, so far this controller has been pretty good, right? So far, so good. Well, oh, and. Here's what I wanted to show you, how it actually plugs in. Uh, I might just get my Switch dock over there and show you how it plugs in, but I guess I don't really need to. What really is important is how it actually works with an original Sega Genesis. That is pretty cool. Apparently, it actually works with an Atari 2600, too. I just think that's cool. It's obviously not relevant anymore, but here you go. It plugs in like so and you plug it in like so. Another really cool, a good thing about this controller is you can use it while it's charging. I actually have it plugged into my computer right here, the charger. It's one of those chargers that you just plug into your computer or whatever, and you just plug it right in. And it works with the, it works while it's charging too. So if you're ever using it while you're, it's not a problem with while it's charging, what I'm trying to say. I don't have a PS3, so I can't really test it out on that, but I'm not really sure how that would work. It seems to work obviously the best with 2D games. You can use it on 3D games just fine. Like I said, I used it on I used it on some 3D games. I used it on Smash Bros on Smash Ultimate and man, it is weird. You can use it. I actually did somewhat decent with it. There's a like I said earlier, there's a controller mapping setting in Smash Ultimate. So, if you really wanted to use this thing, if you just had to use this thing, you can. <laughs> You can. Um, so far, so good. Uh, let's see. PC and Mac. Yeah, it works with Mac, too. I don't have a Mac, but there's plenty of people out there that do. 
Yeah. So yeah, my main complaint is is its compatibility with PC. It works with PC, but sometimes it's really hard finding games with good controller support where the button mapping isn't all messed up and you have to go around and change a thousand settings. Like one of the few good like good ways that this connected with Steam was the Sega Genesis and Mega Drive classics on Steam. Obviously, this would work amazing, right? I mean, it's a Sega Genesis controller slash Mega Drive. I'm pretty sure that's a British thing, but I could be wrong. Um, but it actually connected. But in that, there's so many settings for button mapping in that, like pressure sensitivity and all that. But basically, if you... The best way, I think, to play those Sega Genesis games on the Switch would have to be with one of these controllers. I'm just saying, you don't have to do all that button mapping nonsense. I mean, you probably could, but it would work a lot better. And you don't have to just use this game, this controller, for Sega Genesis games. You can use it for almost anything on the Switch. I mean, sometimes if there isn't already built-in button mapping stuff, sometimes it can be a little weird. But most of the time it pays off. Most of the time it's pretty good. And it's pretty cool because this, this Sega Genesis controller is pretty much a one-to-one -one representation of, this, of the Joy-Cons. Because the B is the B, the A is the A, it says press X, it's the X button. It just works pretty well. And I'm pretty sure on the original Sega Genesis controller there was a mode button right here. But you have your L and R. Um... It shows when it's on, when it's connected, because there's going to be a red flashing light right here. I'm not really sure. I think it might have accidentally been shining earlier, but I don't know. Uh, I'll have to see that when I rewatch this footage. Uh, let me see. There was something else I really wanted to talk about about this controller, but I can't really remember. Oh, yes, uh, Retrobit. Uh, I, have, I have watched some reviews of Retrobit in the past, and they seem like a pretty good company. It seems like they've been producing these kind of controllers for a while. And I could be wrong, but it seems like this is the latest model. It does definitely seems worth it. I couldn't get it to work at first because I didn't really know what I was doing. Uh, let's see what else. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I haven't even talked about the case. So, it actually comes with an entire case. Look at this case. Very nice. It fits in the the two USB things. Well, the one for the Sega Genesis isn't isn't the USB. See, you can just put this in here. Ta-da! Very cool. Uh, I'm not sure if you can notice because I don't have my good light in here. But right here, on the top right for me, has this code. I remember I watched a review of this controller a while back. And apparently it's some Easter egg or code or something. I'm probably saying thank you to the person that bought it or whatever. I'm guessing that's what it is, but I could be wrong. Um, I think that's pretty much it. That's really all I had to talk about. Um, thanks for watching. Oh, I can't believe I didn't say this at the beginning. Happy New Year at the time of this video being uploaded, hopefully. It will be uploaded January 1st, 2021. Um... My New Year's resolution is going to try to make content at all, just in general, and at least try to make it good. I'm having a lot of fun making these videos now. Um, I'm using OBS to make this, and how I put that's how I put my screen in the Game Gear. And there's an Alolan Exeggutor right, ne right there, because why not? Best Pokemon ever. Uh, so yeah... It's actually trying, it's actually teaching me how to do this stuff, so. There's probably a dozen tutorials on YouTube, but I think experience is the best teacher, so. Not saying you shouldn't watch the YouTube videos. Go watch the YouTube videos. I probably will watch a thousand of them, but just saying. I could probably learn a lot just from, just from messing around, so. Uh, happy 2021. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want, and I will see y'all later. Bye-bye.